Hello everyone. Oh, there's a little guest here. Say hi, Gavin. Sing hi. <laughs> So today I want, okay, don't eat that. <laughs> today I wanted to start a reading vlog again. I did my last reading vlog and I just uploaded it and that ended on Monday and today is Wednesday, September 9th. Hello. Oh, he's eating my shirt. <laughs> Stop it. And I'm reading From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I am obsessed with it. I have 20% left. I ended up on a really steamy smut scene and I could tell that like things were about to go down so I stopped reading and then yesterday I was so exhausted I didn't get a chance to read but today I want to finish it and I want to update the vlog um since I just uploaded a vlog this past week of like this week before um and I have some other like video videos that are going to go up this is probably going to be more of a well <laughs> this is a squeaky toy more of a like long form vlog so I maybe won't check in as much but like I don't want it to be like too long so yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm reading this, I'm getting the books in the mail soon, and I want them so, so badly. And then I think after I finish this, um, the other books on my TBR that I could tackle are, um, I think I might start either Golden Fury or All the Stars and Teeth. I don't know which specific one I'm feeling yet. Maybe I'll read like the first chapter of both and do that. But um, yeah, I'm so excited with my physical copy of From, oh yeah, I also, if I get, the second book in this series, I might just, it's arriving tomorrow, so like I might just like disregard everything and read that book because I just love reading a series straight through. Let me make sure it's going to be tomorrow. So it is, it is arriving tomorrow, so I might just finish this book tonight, then catch up on a lot of YouTube that I want to watch, and then start the next book tomorrow because i'm just loving the series so much and when i like i'm so into a series i love to just read it straight through so that might be what i will do and um yeah so and then maybe check in i'm gonna put some footage of like hello no don't eat my hair don't eat my hair puppy i might put in some footage of me like transferring my kindle annotations to the actual book because like when I tell you this is one of my new favorite books of 2020, I'm not lying. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And so I'll probably just start the sequel tomorrow and then get back to my September TBR. But you know what? It's early in September. I've already finished a few books on my TBR. So I'm not mad about it because then the only other books that I have are Silence of Bones, Golden Fury. Maybe I'll start Golden Fury after the Jeffrey L. Armitrap book and then um, I'll move on to All the Stars and Teeth because I do need to get an ARC review out for all uh, Golden Fury. Um, oh, and I also want to read Blood. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. All right. See you in the next clip. Hello. It is Thursday, September 10th. I have my co-host here, Gavin. Say hello to the camera. Hi, camera. He's being a little rambunctious as usual. And he just got wet in the rain. So I have two packages here. One I know what it is and I've been highly anticipating all day. And these are not for puppies. These are not for puppies. Oh, but you're so good. Uh, and the other one is a surprise. So I'm really anticipating this one here. So let's open up the surprise first. Gavin, this is not for puppies. I, I know. Okay, so I actually got a arc of written in Starlight by Isabella Ibnez. Oh, hello, that's not for puppies. And and this is out January 26th, 2020. And it is, if the jungle wants you, it will have you. No, you cannot eat the book or the paper, A. Eh? And this is why my bookshelves are covered in nets. Well, I can't really tell you what it's about because he is eating in it. So I'm trying to figure out if this is a sequel to Written in or Woven in Moonlight, but I don't know. Um, let's see. And Gavin would like to tell you as well. It says an adventurous South American Tomb Raider, hotly anticipated companion. Okay. No. You. You. 
Well, I'm just eating the paper, so that's how my day is going. No. no. Okay, let's open up this Amazon package very quickly so we throw away. So uh, here it is, a kingdom of flesh and fire. I've been anticipating this all day, and it's the sequel to, um, I feel like the first book did not feel as long as this. Hey, no, you cannot eat this book. So anyways, I really wanna start this. It's really long, and it's like 600 pages. I'm curious as to why my Kindle edition did not seem like this long, but I'm assuming it was like the whole book, because like, I hope I didn't like, I don't think I would have bought like an abridged Kindle edition or whatever, but um, yeah, 600 pages. I'm gonna dig my teeth into this because I love it. And it, the first book is like my new favorite book of 2020. So my plans for tonight are to obviously play with my puppy who just wants attention. Yes, you do. You do want attention, huh? Hi. <laughs> you just want attention, huh? And then I am watching some booktube videos and then I have decided before I start this, I need to write my reviews because otherwise I will never do this. Oh, we have a map. Beautiful. I hear so, someone playing. That's all. So I'm starting a vlog clip to say that I'm getting my hair cut. So this is the last you'll see of my hair. This super extra long. It's been getting too much to manage it's like too weighed down so we're gonna do something fun today at the salon um i'm running a little late so i don't want to talk too much on the vlog before i go but i do want to say i started kingdom of flesh and fire um 94 pages in i literally could have sat down and finished this whole book last night but like had some self-control however after my salon appointment i'm gonna be in like a nice shopping area so i'm gonna walk around look at the stores have a nice little date with myself go to barnes and noble and it's gonna be just a great time so hopefully i'll get some footage while i'm there and i'll see you guys It's now later in the day and I have my new hair, oh my god. It's perfect, this is exactly what I wanted. I kind of just wanted to lighten it up a little bit but still keep it red and I look like a real strawberry blonde now. So every so often I like to do something fun unexpected with it. So yes, it just came out so, so nice. She did so many layers and like the blonde just looks really good and I think it'll look even better when my hair is in its natural curly state so I just feel like refreshed. Like I've been needing this haircut ever since, you know, I got out of the thick of quarantine. So I've been excited. And my dog is going crazy. <laughs> We're gonna go take a walkie after this, right? So anyways, it's hard to really talk for that long because I have my dog going crazy, but I do want to say I got some purchases at Barnes & Noble. 
The first one being Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf because I've just A, no doubt. Because I've seen this around and it looked really cool and it was a good price for it. So yeah, it's my Entangled Teen. So I think it's supposed to be like a teen fantasy romance, which I've been on a fantasy romance cake. Like I'm trying to find more books like from Blood Nash because I feel like that's like my genre, you know? I also got this I Have No Shelf Control Mug from, from Epic Reads X Headliner and I've seen this around at Barnes & Noble a few times and I always wanted it and I'm like, you know what, I drink a lot of tea so I can justify this purchase. I needed like my mug, you know? And then the last thing that I got was a what the fuck am I doing? notepad for my fridge just like to-do list but like fun you know and so that's it for now i'm gonna take gavin on a walk and then, and then hopefully he will have less energy and then i'm going to cook dinner watch tv and then i really just want to read kingdom of flesh and fire all night i got to page 94 last night i felt like it flew by i was just so into it and like the romance is just so it's so good like i just want to read this all night which i might do after i finish watching my tv show so that's it and maybe i'll get some like footage of me cooking i don't usually do that but maybe i will I don't know. okay see you later So it's Saturday night, the sun is just setting and I just did some like hair inception and curled my straightened, my naturally curly hair was straightened at the hairdresser like with a blowout and then I just recurled it because I didn't feel like having it straight anymore so I'm hoping that like the curl from the curling iron will like settle back into its more natural <laughs> shape. I'll be there in a second. Bella wants to be let out of the cage. Let's see how this works. Hi! So, hi Gavin. My, I, what I've done today is I read A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. I was up till almost 4 a.m. last night reading and Gavin was literally like, why is the light still on? I want to go to bed. He's so cute. But I needed to read my book. Maybe I'll just like put my hair like up like me. I don't really know what's going on here. I need to kind of fix this, but yeah. I'm just hoping that like as the curls settle, it goes back into my more like natural hair shape. But also I just got it like you know, cut and highlighted and stuff. So I don't know. But anyway, so my plan is that I'm going to... Gavin, we're gonna go outside for you know a little run and then I'm gonna eat dinner and I need to sit down and finish. I need to um, film my anticipated fantasy releases video but I'm putting it off because it's a lot of work and it's a long time filming so that's gonna be like my Saturday night and I'm probably gonna like have to do it in like breaks so that's why I'm gonna eat dinner first and that's why I spent time doing my hair and I'm hoping that's why it falls into a more natural shape, but I think it is just more like voluminous and I'm not. You said, Gavin, come here. Come here. But I have my little buddy here, my little buddy Gavin, who I'm sure will try to eat everything while I film because I don't want to keep him in the cage. So anyways, this book is literally my everything. I've been reading it all morning and like I stayed till 4 a.m. reading it like, oh my God, it just has everything that I love. I love them. I love like just everything and the way the paranormal creatures are it's like 
a high fantasy with urban fantasy creatures, but like in a high fantasy way. And I'm just saying that because I don't want to like give it away. But like the whole like structure of like the different types of like creatures and stuff that's in here. He's so anyways, I've decided that this is going to turn into a Jennifer L. Armentrout vlog. I have ordered the next book in her of hers that I want to read um, because I learned that the Lux series the main character's name is Katie and she likes books and blogging and I'm like wow that sounds like me so yes it's going to turn into a vlog I don't know I was kind of thinking about this last night um when I get into things I tend to get like very into them and just kind of want to dive head first so like I feel like if I want to read her, all of her other books and then I make myself read my TBR, I'm not going to be excited about those books. I'd rather read the books that I'm like really just like wanting to read at the moment that I feel like I can't put down. And so I'm just kind of going to change everything and just go on a Jennifer L. Armentrout sprint and keep up with everything. Also, my copy of From Blood and Ash should be here. It was delivered, so I'm gonna go get it, and then I'll probably take some bookstagram photos so that I can spread the word about this series because I'm literally so obsessed. And so yeah, so I'm gonna be next picking up her Lux series. I just ordered the first like two books, and I was gonna literally buy all of her books in one go, and I'm like, maybe I should spread it out over a few paychecks, but like as I'm reading them, because I have Amazon, so like it'll come in two days. So yeah, that's the plan. Just gonna eat dinner, film, and read, and then um, watch TV. Maybe I'll like, since I've just managed to put the book down, it was so hard to put the book down. I'm sorry, this is so And since I just managed to put the book down, I'm going to like probably eat, film, watch TV, and then pick this back up for the night. And like I could, easily finish this tonight and then just like be devastated i have a like a book of hers called the the wicked series and it looks like it's more of like an e like it has here listed all of her books so it's called let me see is it in the beginning or no, it's in the back it has all of her series so obviously it has the luck series and then the origin series is a standoff book uh so we have um it's a wicked novel called Wicked because that one was really cheap on Kindle and the other ones are probably ones I'm going to want to purchase. So yeah, that's like if I'll start that one um, while I'm waiting for my copy of the Lux series to arrive. So those are my plans. Hello, so it's now Thursday, September. I don't even know the date anymore. September 17th, and I don't think I ever updated after I finished A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Um, I finished it a few nights ago. You can see all my annotations here. Oh my god, I love, like, when I really love a book and I can go back and just see all the tabs. And, like, I just think it looks so cool. So I finished this on Sunday or Monday night, and, like, I loved it so much. It ended on such a huge cliffhanger and it's like all been building to this and like you think you have the world figured out and then she just spun it on its head in the last second and i'm really surprised that this is jennifer l armatrout's first high fantasy series she mostly writes paranormal urban fantasy because it's just so well done i mean she's a very like acclaimed and talented writer but still um you know high fantasy can be very different from other types of books to write and i just think she pulls it off so so well i love the characters i love the relationship between poppy and her love interest and the way i think the first book was kind of about like them meeting and you know like how they started to fall in love and then but it was more so about poppy trying to like discover freedom for herself and kind of like you know amongst this barrier of being a maiden like being told she has to like remain pure and she can't talk to anyone she can't see anyone she has like no choice basically in her life so this is that book's more about like her reclaiming her choices and then i think this book is really like examining the, re the relationship between the two characters and like how they can come together in in love um and the tagline is love stronger than vengeance so i feel like it really focused on that and i feel like the last book I don't know if it's gonna be the last book or if it's gonna be longer. I feel like it's set up to be a trilogy, but like I have no idea. But I feel like the next book at least will focus on more of like her journey to power, maybe. Um, her dating back some power and things like this. Cause like the way that this ended, I 
think that things are going to happen and I think we're going to get more of an explanation about her past and her role in this world and then obviously there will still be like relationship moments but like I think it's going to focus more on political structures and stuff but like oh my god this is like one of my new favorite series and like I just cannot believe it so much if you were looking for an adult romance adult fantasy romance basically so like what that means and i guess like i've been looking for other adult romances because after i do this jennifer l armantrout vlog series i want to do one on reading adult fantasy romances so when trying to look for books like that it's like how do you just tell the difference between in a fantasy romance and a fantasy that has romance and it's more so if the romance is like a major plot point, which I think it is in this series. And so I've been looking for ones that are similar, but still have like a lot of stuff going on. Like if you think of a popular book series, so like let's say like Thorn and Glass versus Avatar is a pretty good one. I would say that Thorn and Glass is more like fantasy with romance and Avatar is a fantasy romance because the romance is like the biggest plot point basically. Um, whereas Thorn and Glass has lots of romance in it but it's really not what like the main plot is focusing on so that's kind of like the distinction and it is kind of hard to research but i'm i'm finding some things and i have some exciting plans for my reading coming up in the future so keep an eye out anyways getting on to this is oh well, this is just like a kindle advertisement but i am now reading wicked by jennifer l armantrout which is her um I think it's new adult, I'm not sure. It's definitely not YA. Um, Fay Urban Romance or Urban Paranormal Romance, I don't know, whatever. So um, we follow Ivy Morgan, who is a Fay hunter, part of the order, and then like an ancient Fay is showing up and they're like stronger, more powerful than anything else. And then there's this like new guy in the order in town, and I think things are gonna happen between them, and I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I've never really seen Faye in an urban setting. They're usually in high fantasy settings, so I'm interested to see how it's going. I feel like what's gonna happen with all Jennifer L. Armitrad's books is I'm gonna start reading them on my Kindle and be like, oh, I just love it so much, like I want a physical copy. If she's gonna end up being one of my uh, new all-time favorite authors, which like I could very much see her on her way to being that, I'm gonna need to like order physical copies of everything and yeah. Um, so, yeah, but for right now I'm reading on my Kindle. We'll see how I feel about the book when I finish it. But I'm at 25% so far. I really like the New Orleans setting. I've been there a few times so I can like picture the areas pretty well. And I think it's that whole aspect of like Fae roaming the earth and then the humans have to hunt them down. And I don't know, I think it's gonna be cool. And it's, it's nice to read urban fantasy because you can have some like fun little modern references put in there like she's talking about iced coffee and like there oh my god my favorite character is this little brownie which are little like mini fairies and she's like technically not supposed to have him because she's part of the order she's supposed to send every like creature back but it's just like this sassy little like brownie guy and he like eats all the marshmallows and the lucky charms and like goes on her amazon prime account and orders like everything on amazon prime and like it just offers a lot of humor in the book and i love cute little side characters like that that have spunk so yeah i'm really enjoying my read of this so far and um yeah my plans are to continue reading update guys as i go along and then my copy of the first two books in the lux series should be coming this friday and i'm thinking for this vlog series i was thinking i was gonna make it one vlog but like i'm gonna have way too much footage for one vlog so it's going to be a vlog series so you'll see in installments me reading all of her books and i think i'm probably going to like forego tbrs and whatnot for the moment if this is kind of like the path that my reading is going to go down and I might only take a break from her books to like read something that I'm highly highly anticipating or something like that but I have a lot of books that come out in September and October and then around December things calm down but I want to read Jennifer L. Armstrong books while I'm like in the mood for them you know like I don't want to have me feeling like I'm obligated to read something for booktube getting in the way of like me reading what I want to read for enjoyment so just screw it that's all you gotta do so yeah, that's my update for now, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh, did I talk about how I dyed my hair? Because I dyed my hair. It has blonde highlights now. Hello everyone, this is me continuing my different L Armatra vlog. I'm reading Wicked on my Kindle, which is her Urban Fae story, and it's getting really interesting. I'm liking the pacing so far, and the sexual tension between the two characters is good as always. Oh, it's Saturday, September 19th. I forgot to mention that.
I was supposed to get the first book in the Lux series in the mail and it never arrived. And it hasn't even shipped yet, so I don't know. So I might, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do if it, like, I don't know when it's gonna arrive. It literally has, it's not saying when it's going to arrive. So I'm just like, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, so I am just like, it's a beautiful day. I just took my dog to the vet and we like walked around the city and it was like so nice and I got to enjoy the nice weather. So now I have the window open. And I just kind of want to read all day, honestly, like, just read and probably watch some TV, but just like chill, have a nice chill Saturday after having gone out and enjoyed the weather already. And yeah, I think that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be reading on my Kindle. And if I finish this book, I like might just like go ahead and binge next one. They seem like really easy to fly through Jennifer L. Armitrott's books in general, just because the writing is very planable, but it's also just really fun. Um, but yeah, I think I'm at like 40% or something already and I've just been reading kind of here and there because I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and read. Um, so I might just start the next one. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll keep you updated on my thoughts as I get on. Hello everyone. This is going to be my last clip. I haven't vlogged in a while. It's Sunday, September 27th. But I've been reading the Wicked trilogy and I'm on the last one, to uh, Brave, and I read Wicked and Torn. And they're really good new adult urban fae stories. I really enjoyed them so far. I love the fae in an urban setting and I don't read a lot of like paranormal urban books. Um, they're solid like four stars for me. They don't have that five star, you know, feeling, but I really truly enjoy them and I'm having so much fun at reading all of Jennifer L. Armitrout's works. And with that being said, I'm kind of just going to wrap up this vlog here because the next thing that I'm going to be starting is a vlog for the Lux series. And I have been slowly getting the books in the mail. I haven't had time to vlog every time I get the books, but I got the first bind up Lux Beginnings. And here we have Lux Consequences. I also got the White Hot Kiss trilogy, So Cold Touch, Every Last Breath. I can't find the last bind up. I, it was on Amazon for like $50. And I'm like, um, so I'm gonna wait on that one. But yeah, so my next vlog is going to start uh, with me reading the Lux series. And I'll probably just give like a final wrap up on the Wicked trilogy. But so far, I mean, I just, the I like that it's new adult urban fae romance so we get some more like steamier scenes than YA and it's really interesting so far like how the whole series works with um like fae in our world are evil and so we have this order that is like meant to hunt them down I don't know it's just really good urban paranormal romance highly suggest checking it out if you like that genre so with that I think I'm just gonna go and see you in the next vlog oh Gavin wants to say hi hi puppy I'm gonna read some books and I'll catch you guys in the next one